as I was saying, these, these various actions of resisting the devil, of coming near to God, of washing our hands, of purifying our hearts, of mourning our sins, these various actions um, are separated out for us in these verses, but they all arise from the same disposition of the heart, which is this submission before God. For James, it's this, this place of humility is the heart of true religion. This is living with the word of God planted in us. With James' strong directives, there also comes an accompanying um, promise from the Lord, supremely strong promises that are attached to following through on these directives. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Resist the devil, put on that armor, and he will flee from you. Humble yourself before the Lord, and he will lift you up. So we've come to the end of our passage. What is it that, that you take from this passage today? There are a variety of messages here, aren't there, for us to ponder. Well, I have been challenged and I would say encouraged by this last verse. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. How does the Lord Jesus go about lifting up the humble of heart? Well, Jesus lifts us up by freeing us from the need to argue and to fight our way through life, and he makes us agents of peace. He lifts us up by freeing us from our prison of anxious doubt. Jesus lifts us up by healing our wavering, divided soul once and for all and making us whole in him. Jesus lifts us up by drawing us near his heart of love. And I also believe that Jesus lifts us up by enabling us to live faithfully through a pandemic, even though we don't know how or when it will end. Humble yourself before the Lord, and he will lift you up. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, these are serious and uncharted times. We need you, Lord. We need you, and we sense the need to humble ourselves before you. Teach us, please, to seek you, to listen to your truth, to make peace, to be at peace with others. Show us, Lord, and meet us. Show us how to be doers of your word in this place, in our time. And we will give you all the praise, for it's in your glorious name that we pray. Amen. God bless you and be with you.